challenging time to put the schedule together, as we know. Um, new coaching staff at the Bermuda Football Association having honored their request to be part of the team in the best manner they can in the short time frame. And also the usual challenges which we face as an island with the multiple sports that are played on the same grounds, cricket and football, and trying to um, communicate with clubs that are able to host opening rounds and matches. But once again, the BFA has been able to pull it off and we look to a very busy and hectic schedule. As you may know, the corporate games, which will bring a large number of tourists to the island for sporting uh, ambitions and recreation, will be held in October. And that will also compact the Bermuda Football Association season and um, locations to play matches. And we just ask the public to be ready for a full schedule of matches. And hopefully, with Mother Nature on our side, we can have a very enjoyable season. Thank you very much. Now, you, you announced that the um, season's going to start this coming weekend, and you talk about the challenges that uh, we've had for since the inception of football and cricket has been played in this country. What is the association doing to address this, and how could this be better done next, next season? Because you're talking about starting in three days. Yeah. Um, that's a very good question. Actually, I was reading an article last night, I believe, from Alan Douglas, who mentioned the same manner about cricket and the start and, and the ending of the season due to the various competitions they had and being asked to compete, I believe, in the um, other international tournaments. I think it's time, and this is my personal opinion, I don't want to say it's the association opinion, that both cricket and football come together and that we look at maybe grounds that are a little bit more specific at certain times of the year to be open or closed for a particular sports and that they be prepared to house one or two sports um, so that both groups can actually have opening venues and even venues which they can close out the season. Um, there are grants that play football and cricket and both, all clubs try to have the grants available for their teams but it creates a challenge not only for football but also for the Bermuda Cricket Board to have their schedule put out at the earliest possible date and both sports are competing for the same venues. Now we often hear executives say that that it's time for us to come. When can we see that coming together? Who's going to be the one that's going to drive it? Well, there are, I believe there are three factors. One is the national sports governing bodies, which is football and cricket. They use the same fields. There's also the field operators that also wish to have the grounds available for both football and cricket to generate revenue because clubs need to pay their bills just like you know, normal households. And then maybe there's a real, there should be a real for, um, youth and sport to say, to improve sports across the island, and specifically in the two national sports. Um, there may be a three tri-party um, discussions has to be held to improve it. I was listening to the president of the BTFA, um, and she also mentioned the challenges that she had faced, and now with um, Mr. Douglas coming on board, it seems that we may need to do a, a revamp on the infrastructure and scheduling side to also lift up our sport, or sports.